Hey everyone, so today I am doing a New Year's Eve inspired look for you guys. Heading up to New Year's, I'm so excited. Comment down below and let me know what your New Year's resolution is. I don't even know what mine is yet, I haven't even thought about it. I feel like I need to make a New Year's resolution to like, clear out my makeup more often. Because it doesn't happen enough. Okay, so anyways, uh, I had a kind of look I had in mind, like that I wanted to do today, and then I was just looking through my phone um, at some pictures I've got saved. I actually like just go on Instagram and save pictures sometimes for inspiration, but I always forget to look back at them. So I was like, oh, I wonder if there's anything there. And this look kind of reminded me of what I had in mind, except I had a lot more color in mind. This look, Anastasia Beverly Hills posted this picture of Norvina using the Sultry palette, which was double whammy because I was thinking of using this anyway and it's just like meant to be. This look is so beautiful so I think I'm going to do something inspired by this today. I don't know if it's going to come out the same or different or what but I'm in love. Like I have to say Norvina is one of my makeup inspirations. Like her makeup, the makeup her team does on her, like the makeup she does for like campaigns and stuff. She's just got some of the most creative makeup looks. Like if you go on her Instagram page, like I just love, like look at this. She's got the most amazing eyelids as well, which is such a weird compliment. But anyway, like I just am obsessed with her makeup style. So <sighs> she's just dreamy. I'm gonna do something like this today. So yeah, the Sultry palette. I have not even touched this, it's beautiful. I might use some other stuff too, who knows? But yeah, we're gonna just have a play with makeup today and do something really fun with lots of glitter for New Year's Eve. And then I might do a separate get ready with me on New Year's Eve and get that up in the new year for you guys. Just like get ready with me for New Year's Eve at my house, you know. Do you guys have any plans for New Year's? For me, I'm just going out to my beach house, so I'm really excited. So if I film there, like you guys will have to see what it looks like as well, even though I haven't even decorated my filming room yet, but yeah. I am going to use my favorite primer, one of them. This is Smashbox Lid Primer in Light. And by the way, my eyebrows are the little multi pen by Benefit. My foundation is the YSL one I just did a first impression on, I'll link it below. Um, mixed together, so this one mixed together with the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. I love the way it looks. I'm just using my sponge to blend this out, which I don't know if I've ever done before, and I don't know if this is a good idea, but it's happening. I'm so excited for this makeup look. I don't even know if it'll work out well, because like my eyelids are so crooked, I can never do very good artistic looks or like cut crease looks, but I'm trying to like, I don't know, just break out and do some more different stuff. I love trying out different stuff, but I'm just so scared of failing on YouTube because people expect so much perfection all the time on YouTube, especially with all of these amazing Instagram makeup artists, which to be honest, like a lot of it's Photoshop, but let's not even go there. Okay, this is like not the best way to blend out this primer. You know what I mean? Like I feel like people on the internet now expect such perfection and there's so many amazing makeup artists and like people with just amazing skills like you know like James Charles level where it's just incredible and like I mean I think I'm good at makeup but I guess like with my eye shape and everything I struggle to do certain things like they're so crooked. This one's way more like creased and overlappy and this one's bigger and it's just confusing and I'm just like not that good. But I still think I'm good. Do you know what I'm saying? But I need to just like not care and just like do it. Just give it a go and have fun. Cause like, I mean, that's just the reality of makeup. Like there's so many of us out there that aren't 10 out of 10, you know? So I should really just show you guys my process. So I'm gonna start out. I've got this uh, vegan conceal brush. Do -do -do. Keep an eye out around Christmas. We've got a lot of sales coming out for you guys. So you can pick up, you know, the vegan brush sets and stuff for super cheap. I'm using the shade Fresh, which is just that like beige shade right Oops, right here. And I'm going to generously pack this all over. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. They're definitely one of my favorite brands. I think I'm gonna like do a bit of a line with maybe nude and just use it as like a little outline before I go with the dark color because I'm very nervous. Okay, I've got this one here by Makeup Geek. Do they still make these? I saw someone saying that they don't make these anymore, but this is a nude one and I'm gonna sharpen it. <laughs> so I'm gonna look at the picture of Norvina and just see if I can copy it. It's so pretty. I don't even know if I have like enough lid space for this look, but I'm just gonna go for it. And even if it doesn't look amazing on me, maybe like it'll give you guys some inspiration if you've got like bigger eyelids than me, cause I feel like I don't have enough room. That's okay. Okay, so she's got it quite close up here. I feel like this is one of those looks that just look better with your eyes shut. And then just a winged eyeliner, so that's fine. Um, like it needs to, oh, I guess you just blend the color up a bit in this corner, okay. I feel like this eye is the one that comes out better, but it's more difficult. 
but everything seems to look better on this eye over here. But it's also on the ugly side of my face, which frustrates me. We're gonna have to expect that this is not gonna come out the same on both sides. It's the same way I always do my eyeliner and stuff. Like, my eyeliner often does not come out uh, very symmetrical, but by the time you do lashes and stuff, you never notice. But it's because, like, my eyes are completely different. This one's way more lazy. And sometimes when I smile, this one shuts halfway. It's really weird. So basically her look is like super dark, super sultry with like glitter on top. And I'm definitely doing the glitter. I'm just going to go for it. I don't know exactly what colors they used. I'm just going to play with some of these colors in this palette because this is like perfect for New Year's in my opinion. It's so so pretty and I feel like because we've got such a plain color on the eyelid we can always clean it up a little bit if I do kind of screw up my blending I think first we go with an eye definer brush um, which is just my little flat brush this is from the vegan set as well this is really good for your eyebrows as well and like sculpting underneath like under here really like that so I think first I'm just gonna play it safe and I think I'll go with twig which is this beautiful like cool toned grayish brownish color Love that color, de uh, color description. Hers comes to like a nice point at the end. I feel like I've already screwed this up. See, that's already crooked. I just have to move past the fact that I can't get a perfectly symmetrical look when my face is not symmetrical. So I'm just going all the way around the crease, doing this with the flat brush. I really want to start doing some more crazy looks. I think I want to do some more like inspired looks. That could even be a series. I remember someone mentioned that to me. Like some of my friends are so talented. Like one that really sticks out to me is Jar. You guys, I've talked about Jar on my channel for years. We caught up years ago when I lived in Auckland and she's just such a cool person and I wish I could see her more often but obviously I don't live in Auckland she doesn't either anymore she's such a talented person I've always wanted her to do my makeup but like I could do a series where I am inspired by you know my friends makeup like and do just a series of tempting other people's makeup that's completely different to my own style and like real creative or real colorful or just like out of my comfort zone that could be really cool and like someone probably completely fail it but at least you can laugh at me so i think i'm going to sharpen this up afterwards and just like really carve it out properly the shape's very good so far i just don't know how i can blend very high because my eyebrows are so low i guess i can just adjust it to try and work for my eye shape because for her she's just got so much room like look at those beautiful big eyelids <laughs> I just want eyelids like this. So I have these beautiful brushes here. These are the Slim Crease brushes, which are like the nicest, littlest little blender brushes ever. This one has green on it. This is like my favorite quick brush cleaner. It's just so expensive. I need to make my own with Expo Beauty at some stage because it's, yeah, freaking expensive. So I think I'm just gonna start straight the same matte color, just like a tiny amount. <laughs> Nervous, nervous. I'm just gonna add a little by a little. I probably should have blended out that um nude eyeliner because it's kind of gripping onto it and going patchy. Yeah, look at this. I like scratch it with my nail. <laughs> it's just like eyeliner. Okay, it's not perfect yet, but I'm not hating it. I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. I actually have to say, I think this is one of the better shapes I've ever done. I don't know if it's because I used a smaller blending brush, so like it wasn't as messy or what, but I'm like loving how it's looking already. I don't really want to ruin it, but I'm gonna do like one darker shade over again. So looks like she's got black in her look, but she's not the biggest fan of black eyeshadow anyway. So I'm gonna use this dark brown. It's called Dystopian. I'm gonna use the same brush in the same process, except this time I'm gonna keep the color closer to the line and just make it a bit darker. I might even just not even like use a blending brush and just kind of flick this brush upward because I'm going to be putting a little bit of glitter on top anyway so does it matter if it's a little bit harsh? I don't know. I don't know what the rules are here. I reckon that looks pretty cool. The blending like I definitely need to next time just like kind of get rid of a little bit of that concealer or not use so much or like the eyeliner I mean um because it definitely made it a little bit more patchy than I'd like but I'm still pretty happy with the shape. Okay I'm going to take a mixture of twig which is the first shade and dystopian the darker one the tiniest amount and like, it's just do literally the smallest blur. I feel like I just need to run over with a bit of a blender brush. I might use this one, which is my Jacobs one, because it's pretty clean, I hope. And just go over the edges. When I do look this close to my brow bone, it really reminds me why it's so important to wax the hairs off, because I've got so many fine hairs that I don't usually care about, because I just tweeze my eyebrows, but it's like, you can just see every little... Anyway, I'm going to take the same brush now, and I'm going to go straight into... No, actually, I'm going with twig, and line my lash line with this, and then go into the dystopian color afterwards, and just make it a bit darker. And I know it's random, but this brush is actually really easy to do this with. You could also use an eyeliner brush if you feel more confident with that. But I'm just, like, winging it out a little bit, too, towards the um, top wing, but I'm not 
connecting them and then taking dystopian the darker one and running that close to my lash line i don't even want to ruin this like i'm so scared to do the glitter but i feel like i need glitter because it's new year's like ugh. i'm obsessed with this let me take a snapchat while it still looks good in case i ruin it i feel like i kind of want to use a little bit of this like right on my lash line but i'm terrified maybe i should use this this is natasha denona the star liner but you could use like any glitter i've got so many loose glitters but i'm just kind of like i don't know i feel like i just want something easy I'm just gonna do a little bit and see what it looks like i mean that looks pretty good i reckon i'm gonna cover the whole lot with this because it's kind of sheer and then i might use some of the steel one right on my lash line to really darken the root it's gonna be gold in it this is like one of those glitters where you like turn your head and it just it's the light real cute this reminds me actually of a kind of i think this is why i like was gravitated towards this actually one of my new year's looks from a few years ago let me find it like it's so different but i feel like the one i'm wearing now is like the glow up version <laughs> here we go 2015. I've got so many New Year's looks on my channel and they're all so different like and usually very wearable glam. Like last year's I loved this very top one. You can just search Shenix on New Year's Eve makeup or New Year's makeup. Um, that top one. Hmm. <laughs> that was so pretty. Just like a black glitter smoky eye. I feel like this is definitely different to what I've done in the past but I don't know, it's like, oh, so perfect for New Year's. Okay, so now I guess I put some on the top, but I don't want to. You know what, I might just like stop there because I actually love the way it looks bare. Like I do love the glitter in the crease there though. So now I'm taking the Midnight Molten by Stila and I'm just going to use a different brush. I might just use a little lip brush just to get a really nice close effect to my lash line. And this is like a silver glitter undertone. So I'm going to go super matte on my bronzer. Like I normally use a shimmery one, but I think I'm going to go matte and then just do like extra highlighting. So I'm using this Chi Chi Highlighting and Contouring Palette. I'm actually going to go under my eyes quickly with the shade 3, which is like bright yellow. It's just good to like brighten because um, I only did a little bit of under eye setting powder today because I ran out of my, what is it called? Summer Bisque. Like this is my first and only one. I've been using this for years on my channel. It lasted forever. but I literally just thought it was unlimited and was never gonna run out, but it ran out today and I'm devastated. It's just gonna, yeah, brighten up my under eye area a little bit more. I don't know if you can see the difference. I hope you can still get this palette. I don't know, I used it the other day and I remembered I really liked it. I'm gonna use the medium bronzer brush, medium face brush that I use for bronzer. It's actually called medium face. Um, and I'm gonna use the shade five, this one right here, and go on my actual cheeks with it or contour with one of the other shades next. There will never be a better Maroon 5 song than What Lovers Do. Trying to do what lovers do. And then I always put some on my nose. You guys know. You guys know about the nose. I love this makeup. Honestly, I know it's stupid, but that fresh shade, the one on my entire eyelid, like, it's so beautiful. It's got this, like, kind of bright pink undertone, which you won't even be able to tell on camera, but it just looks so fresh. Like, it's accurate. Like, oh, it's nice. So proud of myself right now. <laughs> okay, contouring. I've got a bronze brush, which I also love for contouring. I haven't used this one in a while. I'm going to use the shade 6, which is this one here. It's the one I use the most. And then just straight under that cheekbone. It's a nice cool undertone. Almost as good as my Makeup Revolution one. I mean, it's still amazing, but I don't know. That Makeup Revolution, I think it's because it's so cheap. I'm like, it's the best. Oh, that was ugly. Don't recommend rewinding to that face and screenshotting it, please. And then I'm just using a really nice big, whoa, the lighting just changed, jumbo face brush and just making sure it's nice and blended. I went dramatic today, as you can kind of tell. Okay, I know what I want for my highlighter. Anastasia Beverly Hills does one, which I should probably use because it's like Anastasia Beverly Hills themed, but I'm just loving this. So I'm gonna use this instead. The Sunset Palette by Chi Chi. <laughs> so pretty, <laughs> like literally. I think I'm gonna do this one, which is called Snow Manly. It is so pretty, look at this. That. I might even mix in a little bit of St. Kilda. And this is gonna be the real, whoops, point of difference. Just as like a New Year's look, something really special and exciting. Just adding a little bit of pop of color. So I'm just mixing these on my detail face brush. Both of those shades, but more of the lighter pink. I'm obsessed with these highlighters, you guys, ever since I tried them for the first time, which was in a sponsored video. But like, honestly, they're so good. They're literally like the same quality as the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. So if you like those, even more intense, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I love the Anastasia ones too. I don't know. Chi Chi just blows me away with their quality. I feel like ever since I created this brush too, I'm loving shimmering highlighters so much more because it really like buffs them into my skin and makes them look so much more flawless. 
You can also wet these highlighters to make them more intense, but I think they're pretty intense dry. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Malulaba. All Australian weirdo names. You weirdo Australians. No offense. Just a little bit of Kiwi Aussie Banter, you know how it is. I'm just using a little bit of this, this is so pretty. Just like on the other places that I really want my face to kind of glow. This color is probably like one of my favorites out of the whole palette. I've used it a couple times, like look at that shit. <laughs> So flawless, I might even put a little bit more on. Okay, I need to stop before I just end up looking like a disco ball. Definitely need those lashes on now because I look like a little beady eyed rat. So, um, I might just be out there, I'll just pop them on off camera because I'm talking too much. Sorry, I just had to come back and show you. Look at those lashes. I'm using the um, Chi Chi 3D Magic Lash. I forgot how much I loved this. This isn't sponsored by Chi Chi. I know I did some sponsored Chi, little, sponsored Chi Chi videos, but I love Chi Chi. I've bought Chi Chi myself for years and years and years. It is legit, you guys. Like, I'm sorry, but look at that shit. Obviously with a bit of help from a Violet as well, but wow, I'm shook. I don't even wanna wear falsies right now because that just looks so pretty. I feel like I don't even need them. Like, do I just do another coat of mascara? Oh my God, I'm shook. <laughs> Okay, so I put on these lashes and I'm obsessed. Like, this is like my dream glam. I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. So these are the Thunder Lashes by EXO Beauty Faux Mink ones. Beautiful and huge for New Year's. It's like a rogue lash though, and it's like stabbing me. Okay, it's good. I feel like we're gonna do a little pop of color on the inner corner using one of those highlighters. So we're gonna take the other Chi Chi palette, Sunkissed, which I just dunked my freaking thumb into anyway. The Coral Bay color looks like this. It's like pink reflect. Very similar color to the other one. I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner. So I need a smaller brush. I always do this to myself, like use like the most inappropriate color, I mean color brush, I can't think. This is from the Anastasia palette, this brush now. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of St. Kilda as well just to make it pop more. This rain outside is literally messed up in the wind. I'm obsessed. Okay, and now for the last part of the video, sorry if this is long, I got these in the mail today, so I reckon I'll try them out because one of them's called New Year's Eve. Like, it's just fitting. So, I'm going to start with the shade New Year's Eve because it's the most fitting. Black. Okay, so this is how they look. I think these are metallic, yeah. They're like glittery. I don't know. I think they actually look pretty cool though. So yeah, this is New Year's Eve. Let's give it a go. Let me just wipe off my lip balm. Oh my god. This is metallic and a half. So pigmented. Am I like a secret metallic lip lover or am I just like in denial or what? I don't know. They have a strange scent. So that's how New Year's Eve looks. Feels very lightweight. Not really too gritty, like a little bit gritty, but only if I really push my lips together. It's nothing that would ever bother me. And I think that looks kind of really cool. Like perfect for Christmas. Next up, I'm going to do the shade After Party because I think Cake Day looks the most pink, which I feel like will look cool because I've used a pink highlighter. So yeah. Next up is After Party. I love how they've matched the top of the packaging to the actual lip color. This one's so pretty. So it's called After Party. I don't know if I said that already. Look how amazing that is. It's like actual glitter lipstick. It's crazy, okay. Okay, so that looks real cool. That's After Party. Um, Yeah, I feel like metallic lipsticks, like, I just don't know how I feel. But I feel like for New Year's, it's kind of cool because it is so extra. I really like the way this looks, I'm not gonna lie. I actually think this complements this look so freaking well. Why does this lash look so much wonky than the other one? Did I not trim it properly? I might end up putting this color back on depending how the next one looks. Please hold. So here is the final color called Cake Day. Very beautiful pink shade. Very cool. Nah, this is my favorite with this look. This is so extra and just like Barbie. I kind of secretly, not so secretly, am obsessed with this color. Which one do you like better? Do you like this or the previous one? Because I still love the previous one with this look. I might even like the previous one slightly slightly more i don't know but that is cake day so yeah, that is the finished look let me know which lip color you would go with because i think i might put the other one on for the thumbnail we'll see thank you guys so much for watching i hope you found some inspiration from this look and if you do recreate it make sure you tag me in an instagram post and yeah i am obsessed shout out to norvina for the inspiration you are a legend love it love this look i hope you guys love it as well and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye